board views in monday.com hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you about board views within monday.com so let's get started if you want to use monday.com then click the link down in the description below without having to enter any credit card information so let's go ahead and open up our workspace and over here this is going to be your workspace over here you're going to have one of your main boards so let's go ahead and open up this one now over here this is how the view looks like so this is your standard view this is your main table view which is known as the board view and then you have your dashboard view over here now within dashboard view you can display different widgets to see all of your data in multiple different ways so as you can see we have a bunch of different widgets already added so we can see all of them now next up how do you add a different view within a board view right so over here at the top you will see this plus icon which is known as the add view button simply click on it and when you will be dropped down and you can see all of the different views that you can see so you have your chart view kanban gantt card let's go ahead and take a look at the chart view so over here as you can see this is how the chart view looks like now you can go ahead and capitalize it or maximize the size of this chart view so you can see more of your data in a detailed view this will allow you to create a various report for a specific board using different chart types it's a great way to get analytics about your workflow next up we have the gantt view simply click on the gantt view and over here it's going to pop up like this let's go ahead and maximize the view of it as well now the gantt view turns your data from your dashboard into a functional gantt style chart this view is flexible, responsive, and visually displays milestones and dependencies between items to help you provide with a clear view of your project, its associated tasks, and it's a very amazing view as well. Next up, we have the Kanban view. The Kanban view is a project management technique that aims to manage workflow by prioritizing tasks and balancing demands according to available capacity. All you need to do is select a column for the view in your settings and your Kanban view and the board will be ready to go and you can move around all of these different boards as well and next up we have the card view by simply clicking on the card view you can add the card view over here now the card view will allow you to view all of your important items details in very visual gallery like display so as you can see right here currently we have all of our tasks over here as you can see you can individually click on them to get a more detail of that project. Next up is the form view. And right over here, you will see all of your forms. This will basically convert your board into a form in just one click. So let's go ahead and build it. By clicking on the build button, we can go ahead and convert our board into a form with just a single click of a button. And over here, as you can see, we can upload the logo, the campaign planning, the name of the different tasks, the descriptions, the channels over here we can add different channels we can add a new question within that form as well and then all we need to do is just simply click on the publish button and we can publish it as well over here and once it's done this is how it's going to look like and next up we have the file view now this view will easily allow you to manage all of your files in one place whether you have pictures contacts or just any documents you can just upload them either onto the files column in from the main table board over here let me just go there over here you can just simply add a column known as the files and you can simply upload different files within that column to view them files and then once you have a file view all the files that you will have uploaded will appear over here as you can see i have two view files uploaded these are both logos and a brochure so as you can see i can view them right over here and i can add a comment as well and i can post them and add comments and stuff like that now if you need to find more views just simply click on the plus button over here and just simply click on more views and over here you can find different views that you can add within your board it's really easy and it's really fun now how do you make view one of your favorite views these are basically views that you usually see all of your data within that view so for that it's very easy just simply click on the three buttons over here and just simply click on add to my favorites over here and this board or this view will be added within your favorites over here and it will always be viewed over here and also how you can set a default one or a default view it's very easy let's say we want to 
have our dashboard as our default view you just simply click on the three buttons and over here at the bottom you will see it has set as a default board we just simply click on that button and that dashboard update will be successful and our default view will be the dashboard view instead of the main table view and next up is the split screen mode for that let's go ahead and click on the chart menu now to enable the split screen mode just simply click on the three buttons over here and click on full screen it's going to pop up like this and then over here you will see this button right here display type you just simply click on over here and you can choose a table or a chart or the split mode and this will allow you to view two different boards within a single screen it's very handy and it's very easy to use so simply this is it that is all the things that you needed to know about the board we use in monday.com so that is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching this video and if you want to sign up onto monday.com click the link down in the description below as you will be able to get a free trial of monday.com as well and do check out some of our other videos that we've done on monday.com on other parts of this awesome website and if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye